Oh, wasn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Photo finish. We've never seen that. It had not happened since 1947. Three horses, nose to nose, right at the end. Mystic Dan was squeezed inside with all the speed. Just kind of stayed the course up the rail. As they came out of the fourth turn, the field kind of went wide. They were, they were running five wide on the on the final stretch, coming out of the fourth turn. And when all those horses drifted and became five wide out here, Mystic Dan shot up the rail, pulled away. The other horses stampeding from the outside kind of caught up. Mystic Dan won by the shade of a nose. I've, I've, I've been watching it. I've been watching the Derby a long time. I've never seen it happen that way. And Sierra Leone, who was one of the pre-race favorites, had gone all the way back to 14th place, got, got trapped in traffic and all that. Sierra Leone was part of that outside package of five abreast, finished second. And the other favorite, Fierceness, never got out of the gate. Just not stumbled, just got caught up in the gate when everybody came out and veered towards the rail. And, you know, fin wound up finishing 15th, was never, ever on the run. Now, sidebar story after the Derby, and, and this bears watching. It does not appear that Mystic Dan is going to go to Pimlico. Hmm. The the trainer, Wayne, uh, what's his name? Wayne McKee, I believe it is, uh, told reporters late yesterday that Mystic Dan does not look right or act right in the stall, in the stable, in the days after the races. The horse has not been eating, which means there's something not right with the horse. They're going to monitor the horse for another day or so. It appears they're going to not run Mystic Dan in the Preakness. They're going to ship instead to Saratoga in upstate New York. Why Saratoga? Well, Belmont is under renovation. The next three Belmont stakes are going to be run in upstate New York at the beautiful course of Saratoga Springs. So Mystic Dan, I He's not going to Pimlico from what I gather. And at this point, we don't know what's going on with the horse, whether there's an injury or maybe there's a cold. But when an animal, when a horse stops eating, that's a, that's a sign there's something not right. So they're going to monitor Mystic Dan. But if, if this horse rallies back, Mystic Dan will run in the Belmont Stakes, the third jewel, Triple Crown. In addition, Sierra Leone is not going to run at Pimlico, really? the number two finisher evidently may have gotten kicked right at the end. I mean, there was a lot of contact. When oh, they went yeah. five wides, I thought somebody was going to go down. Um, they've shipped, uh, they, I think it happened today, they shipped Sierra Leone to Saratoga. So the one and two horses are not going to run. And what's going to happen? Guess who's going to show up? Preakness, Pimlico. Oh, Baffert. Bob Baffert. Yeah. He's bringing all five of his horses, including his top three-year-old Muth, mm. who was not allowed to run in the Derby. They're all going. They're all shipping to Pimlico. Two of his horses are going to run uh, in the Pimlico Stakes, the marquee race. So Baffert and his people are going to be there. So we'll try to keep an eye, an eye on what's going on with the one and two finishers in the Kentucky Derby. It was an unbelievable race. You know, I had done the commentary here, and I did the commentary on KUSI, my big Saturday sports package, just about the cloud, the shroud of all the controversy swirling around the Derby with the court cases, the injuries, the deaths on the track, et cetera. And man, they came out of the, out of the shoot. And that was, that was some 20 horse sprint. What an unbelievable finish. So John, you watched it. I heard you screaming. I'm not sure who you were rooting for, who you bet on, but give me your thoughts. Well, it was an exciting race with that three, three horses there right at the end. Wow. But you know what? I, I enjoyed just kind of having it on in the background while I was doing stuff around the house and working on things. Cause it's, it's like everything except the race is interesting. You know, it's like the interviews with the owners, with the trainers, just seeing celebrities and all these goofy outfits. And, and then you see like these really rich people walking through the mud on the track when yeah. they go through that. Just a lot of just odd things that I find mildly entertaining. Oh, you love opening day at Del Mar. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't pay attention to the racers. Pay attention. <laughs> You'd be people watching. Exactly. So, that's that's the thing. But that was a fast two minutes. That was an unbelievable two minutes. What a finish. Oh, yeah. It was unbelievable. And 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 to see the history of these jockeys and that, that one jockey had that was on fierceness. He had his family there and he had a, a great history. Just so learning about the players and their backgrounds, I think, is really a great part of the sport. I wish we'd see that more in a lot of the other races. Triple Crown's pretty cool mm -hmm. for all the, all the things it brings. Real slice of Americana. Okay, we're getting ready for fans forum. Uh, feel free. You got a question? Jump in. Just make it.